morning everybody happy uh what's today friday happy friday um i wanted to do a quick video about a couple things um firstly this guitar this is sort of uh, an experimental telly build that my friend nick drew shell um at glazers uh, helped me put together and he came up with this great idea for this rail system for these pickups um, which I had nothing to do with I literally dropped off all these bits and then he called me and he said hey what if we figured out a way to slide these pickups around so uh, this is an old Tysco square pole pickup and this is a gear tone a gold foil uh, pickup, both from the 60s. This is an older MJT body, nice and light. And this is a, uh, I really like these all parts, Fralin. I order them through the Fralin website. Um, and they're just uh, U-shape blanks that you can shape yourself. I haven't shaped this one yet, but I'm gonna get to work on it one of these weekends. Um, anyway, I wanted you to, I wanted to show you these, uh, what this does, uh, sliding these pickups around, because it's pretty interesting to me um, how it works. So uh, with the gold foil all the way back close to the bridge, kind of gives you that stratty out of phase sound and as you move it forward um, it's amazing like I always just thought a neck pickup sounded like a neck pickup you know I never really con conceptually thought about the fact that it's just the positioning that gives the sound um, so as you move this around it's got two little screws that you tighten with this allen wrench once you get it where you want it to go there's pretty much your middle sound. As you go towards the neck, you get more you get more of your uh, neck sound, you know. That'd be closer. how that works um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put this I often like neck pickups back a little from where they traditionally are because I always feel like I'm having to high pass some low end especially with humbuckers I like flipping the humbuckers around like the Peter Green trick so they the pole pieces are on the back side um, it just seems to naturally tune out some of that low end. Anyway, there you go. It's a pretty sort of full sounding um, Telecaster. Slightly different than a regular Tele. And then um, these amps. This is what I'm going to take out this fall. It's a Magic Tweed Deluxe, which I've talked about before. And then that is the rehoused GA20 in a Tweed Deluxe cabinet, um, which I ended up putting a G1265 speaker in. 
from the 80s. Um, Boog turned me on to those years ago. And it works really good in this amp, just to open the whole thing up. Um, so that's that. Um, pedal board, real quick. Um, I'm gonna show you, I've had some questions about this splitter or what this uh, tube buffer box is. This is built by um, Shaw Audio, Tim Shaw, here in Nashville. And it's a uh, vacuum tube splitter and buffer. It's just to run two amps. And I can flip the phase on one, which is super handy to have when you're running two amps, you know, because you sometimes are out of phase. Uh, which they were when I plugged them in this morning. So I flipped one, boom, back in phase. Um, the ground switch, it's got a uh, global volume and a global tone control, which is super handy because if I'm using a humbucker guitar and a telly, different outputs, whatever, a guitar with P90s, I can, you know, just use a bit of tape and mark on the global volume on the splitter um, where I need to back the volume off with the humbuckers if I start with the single coils, you know what I mean? It's like a, it's a way to balance the outputs. And then it's got a really cool tone control, which sounds great. It's just really nice, sweet sounding tone control. Um, the box itself is, um, um, you know, there's another sort of famous one out there. Oh, let me just put it that way. Um, and, uh, this is the same concept. There you go. Um, and pedal board's really simple. To me, anyway, it's pretty simple. It's gotta be simple. Otherwise I'm thinking too much. So, you know, the Flint has that cool harmonic tremolo that I like, a bit of reverb. Um, Memory Man, which I'm always moving with my toe between long and short delays. I had a Brigadier Strymon Brigadier on there for a while, but I'm just gonna stick with the Memory Man for this next tour. Um, the Hot Cake that I love. Uh, my VFE tremolos in the shop getting fixed, so I just have another pedal in place, but that would be my tremolo. And that's it, it's pretty simple. Um, I'll probably take my Greco, Les Paul out, and a couple of tellies, my B Bender telly. Um, and that'll be it. Prescription fuzz, because I love that pedal. It's always the one I come back to for a fuzz. Um, yeah, simple stuff. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for the nice messages, and uh, we'll see you all soon.